Hey guys, this is Zach with Hobby Titans, and I'm joined here by Melanie Phillips, and we're gonna do some galaxy nails. Melanie, we did a couple steps ahead of this video. Can you tell people what you did already? Yeah, so I was sent home with homework, um, which is always great, I love it. And essentially, I came with my nails prepped, meaning that I put just a lovely base coat. You can use any base coat from any nail polish. This one is Sesh Clear, if I'm saying that right, um, and came, and then we uh, primed them. Exactly, yeah. We used Vallejo Surface Primer. This is the same primer you guys know we use on everything around here. You ready to get going? I am, I am. I mean, this obviously this is such a killer look. Now, Melanie wants uh, some blue, some purple, and we're also gonna work in a little bit of pink. So we're gonna start with the blue, and we have three colors of blue to do here. Uh, now, as you guys can see here right away, um, I am doing most of her nail, but not all of it. I'm leaving some spots totally black. When did you start using your airbrush to do nails? Very early on, actually. And as a matter of fact, I'd recommend any hobbyist to do this because it's great practice for airbrushing. This is gonna be the first coat of purple. And it's okay if we go over where some of the blue was. Remember, we're doing like nebulas and galaxy, stars, all kinds of stuff. So anything that happens here that gets mixed up is fine. All just happy accidents. Okay, cut. <laughs> Rough. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we're now going to do something I think that's fun and makes galaxy nails what they are. We are going to brush Mel's nails with some star blasting, if that Ooh, makes any sense. No, but I do like the, the term. Clean toothbrush, white paint, and we're not too worried about, oh, look at that. about this quite yet being perfect because these are the stars that are eventually gonna be really far in the background. So Mel, have you had galaxy nails before? No, I haven't had galaxy nails, but I have had Adrian do like a hexagon B kind of theme. When, um, you know the hexagons he has on his the, Eldar flyers? The stencils. Yeah, yeah his yeah, stencils. Yeah. So he has stenciled like the hexagon on my hands. You want like chaos symbol decals right? and stuff? Here's our mid-tone purple. This is Reaper Royal Purple. And just like we did with the blue, we're getting a few spots. Again, not worried who we're covering up quite yet. Okay, now we're gonna introduce pink into the mix. So we're gonna only use two different pinks. Pink is sort of like our special nebula color as I twist and snap Mel's fingers. <laughs> you never realize that you have finger insecurity until you have your fingers on 4K cameras. This is so true. Okay, we're on our last blue. This is sapphire blue. And as you can see, it's kind of like a vivid medium tone blue. So great that Reaper Paint sent us all of these. It's the only way we would have all of these different blues. Actually, for galaxy effect, you're 100% right that we have one of like every color Reaper made. It was, it's been really useful. This isn't even like a sponsored bit here. No. This is real. No. Yeah, we really mean this. this is. <laughs> okay, so now with this blue, I am mostly going where I've already previously put blue. You guys can see the stars kind of peeking through. We are gonna put fresh stars on, don't worry. Okay, this is our final purple color, uh, amethyst purple. It's like a lavender kind of color. So again, we're going in and hitting spots mostly where we have hit purple, but again, it's still okay if we blend in and hit the pink or the blue a little bit. Um, and you're gonna see this color is actually fairly similar to the pink currently, but don't worry, because our, our, our next pink is gonna be very vivid compared to this. Before we put the final pick in, we're gonna do another Star Blast. We're still gonna do one more Star Blast after this. Awesome, let's get blasted. <laughs> Make sure you guys just like test out your stars and kind of get a feel for where, how you get clusters, how you get, you get clusters if you're close. You don't get clusters if you're not close. And also just like how to get kind of bigger ones and smaller, smaller ones where it's going. So for our final pink, this is one of our final coats. And so wherever we put this, it's really gonna be how things kind of end up looking. We do have a few layers left, but the pink is one of the final, very substantial colors that we're gonna get. Okay, so we now have all of the pink, all the purple, and all the blue on. So what we're gonna actually use is white. You guys know I love Minotaur Skull White. 
Um, it goes on very transparently. You're gonna see as I add this to Melanie's nails, what's really gonna be happening is it's not gonna look like I'm adding white. It's gonna look like areas are just getting brighter. And obviously for a galaxy, that's exactly what we want. You can see I'm especially focusing on areas where it was kind of pink, but also some of the brighter blue. That's actually gonna be okay. We're gonna have some fun with that a little later. That's actually gonna be what our last step is anyway. So we just jumped ahead right there. Okay, believe it or not, one of our final steps is we're actually gonna go back and add black. And what this does is helps kind of build separate galaxies and give a little bit of separation. Again, we're gonna be really careful with this. Again, another fine detail step. Giving a little bit of separation to some of the different things we've put in. It's the step that really brings it all home. Okay, so last Star Blast here. Again, give it a test, make sure you know how things are looking. Don't be afraid if you get like a really big one. We're gonna have fun with those here in a second. Okay, so for this step now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you some big stars. Don't worry too much about the shape. Dot is preferable, but if you get like a little bit of weird kind of uh, rings or lines or something like that, it's just gonna add to the look of the cosmos. Okay, promise we're almost done, one last step. This is awesome. All of those little dots we just put in, we need to give them a little extra glow. We did it. Well, you did it. And with a little movie magic, they're clean. Look at them. Yeah, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're happy with them. And you guys can see the top coat does a lot. Um, folks at home, if you've got an airbrush and you're a hobbyist and you've got someone in your life that would love to have their nails done, do some galaxy nails. It's super easy, right? And for everyone who's like trying to get loved ones involved in the hobby, this would be an excellent way to spend some time painting together. Guys, thank you so much. As we like to say here, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and always be creating. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks, Mel. Awesome, bye. See you guys.